Recognize the voice and the name. On the Breakfast Club. Lauren came in hot. You know, I I came in telling the truth. (laughs) Yeah, guys, so Amy Robach and TJ Holmes are back in the news. They uh, dropped a podcast um, recently, first episode, and this is the very first time that they are addressing that whole scandal, Mm -hmm. not scandal thing that got them fired from GMA. And they say that uh, basically they were doing everything right behind the scenes, but they were outed, and that's why it looked so messy. Uh, so. November 30th, 2022 was the day that we, and this is very important, we were outed. We were outed. We were outed. We were not a, caught. By a publication that outed us. And so to be clear, we were outed our, <laughs> as being in a relationship, but everyone else thought we were being outed as adulterers, um, being outed as cheating on our spouses and and it wasn't the case because the odd thing is that the day those pictures were taken and the, the day that article was released that outed us, we had both at that point been, were in divorce proceedings. Yes, we had attorneys, mediators. We were in the middle of divorces. Oh, that makes sense. So clearly everybody behind the scenes knew what it was. That's basically we, what they're we saying. We just didn't, as we don't know nothing about none of these people. But how did they get let go, though, if people behind the scenes knew and they were going through the proper... The way of doing it. disclose it to the employees, right? So, yeah. So, around that time, you guys remember, there was a a big gap where they were sent home, but we didn't know what was about to happen. Mm -hmm. Right. And the network was trying to figure out what to do. Mm Mm-hmm. Basically, what, what they went on in the podcast to talk about the fact that they didn't rush to disclose it to executives because they were literally in the process of still trying to tell family members about it. We have that audio, too. We shouldn't have allowed, I can say that in hindsight. But our, for folks to find out about our relationship before they found out about our divorces, if people would have heard earlier, OK, mm-hmm. they're out of their relationship. Now they're dating. Maybe an eyebrow would have been raised or something, but it wouldn't have become what it became. Look, at, at that point, my daughter, I mean, she's 10. I was still trying to get her adjusted to her new reality of her parents not being together. And I've been working on that for the past three, four months. So I wasn't I didn't want to spring on her in that early that, oh yeah, by the way, you know that Amy Robach, who's actually, you've known since you were one, has been a part of the, well, I'm dating her now. I didn't want to do that to her at the time, but I hadn't even told my mom about the divorce. So why the hell am I thinking about telling an executive at the network about it? I I agree with TJ there. Like, I still don't know how I feel about employees having to disclose their relationship status. Like, is that truly the company's business? Like, what if you're just dating a person? I have to tell you who I'm dating? That feels like overreach from the company. But I guess if it's on the same level, because right there we're on the same level. It's not like an executive is dating an intern where they they feel like they can use their power. They're on the same level. I don't see why they got fired. If it was consulting adults, why? Consenting. Consenting. I meant consenting. Consenting adults. I don't see why. (laughs) You know what I meant. They consulted some adults about their relationship. The adults said, you know what, it's okay for you, them. You know, you know what I meant. But it, it, if they were on the same page, it, it shouldn't matter. They but that's got fired. always been the question, though, because the timeline, like the, those pictures came, of them came out in November. December, the network was like, oh, we're not really sure what we're going to do, but just go home and take a little break. And then a the month later, they were permanently released. And people were like, there's no way y'all didn't know about this. And why do we care as long as both of them can sit on the same level? But I don't know. They got the podcast now. And I mean... People yeah, they got are a, they got a pod- TJ's podcast. They got a podcast with iHeartRadio. Now, you said people are interested. I wonder, will people care about the podcast after this initial episode? I know everybody is tuning in to hear what they have to say now. Yes. But will folks care after the fact? I'm so interested because, honestly, when all this first happened, I was like, he's dumb. Because when the heat comes, she's going to leave him, and he's going to be jobless. And I'm I'm actually very interested in the fact that they're still together. They seem happy. Really? I would love He also talked about... She had to do a uh, wellness check on him the day that everything came out. Like, they were not okay. They said he he was eating, uh, taking a lot of edibles and drinking alcohol. (laughs) Regular weekend for me. I saw that. Uh, I didn't see that part, but. Yeah, that's what you said. I saw that. Yeah, well, but I, think I might have heard it. Actually. But after they discuss all this, do you care about their opinions on certain things, yeah, or is it just thir- about their relationship? You care they about the relationship. Thirty days about- from now, Lauren yeah. they gotta, will not be reporting on any. They got to be strategic. Podcast. Like I would love to hear them talk about like Jeannie, Mai, and Jeezy. Why? Because they're getting so much heat for being an interracial relationship that publicly fell apart or had some yeah, issues. Yeah, but they don't know the insides of their relationship, though. But you can still give advice. They've been through a very public. Come on, thing. Now, slow down. Wait till they have a little Obama or something, or a little J. Cole or Drake before we jump out the window and start talking about they're the couple to be giving right advice to all interracial couples. Now, come on, now. 
You Cut sit up here on this radio and give advice to people all the time based on your marriage and what you went through. I'm married. So, and I've and been through some things. They ain't been through together. nothing yet. They, they, they lost. They were G, at GMA3 and lost their jobs publicly and were called everything under the sun so but children they, of God. So they should start an unemployment podcast. <laughs> they should start a podcast. <laughs> I was like, Charlamagne can do that too. Charlamagne can do that too. They should start a podcast, podcast, podcast about, about how to you know, bounce back after losing your job. That, I'll listen to them about that. But they well, can't be but, the poster child for all in a racial But they didn't bounce back yet. They're they, they they're in, in the process of radio. Yeah, but they're in the process of it. Yeah, we got to see what happens. We got to see what happens. Yeah. Now, the spouses, the other two spouses, so the ex-wife of TJ Holmes and the ex-husband of Amy Robach are now reportedly dating each other. Mm. That's wild. Now, I would love to see that episode. That that would be a great episode. I, that's like a couple's episode? Real Housewives of GMA. That's some good stuff. That's I would love to see that. That's like trauma bonding. That's exactly hey, what I think I happens. Love to see yeah. it. I think they probably reached out to each it's, other to talk to each other to see, yo, did you know this was happening? Did you know this was happening? And they probably formed a bond from from that. I, I would watch. I would from, watch their podcast. I love people to hear from trauma, but I like to watch it when they have it too. So, all right, I would watch mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Well, that is your rumor report. When we come back in a little bit after front page news, we should discuss that eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Let's discuss work wives and work husbands. Right? Are y'all cool with that? Are you cool with your wife having a work husband? Are you I cool don't with even your wife? like how like just that just flowed out like it's a, like a, that's a normal thing. That's not okay. No, we'll discuss. Yeah. No, we not, bro. Stop doing that. No, well, we, we, we not, not work husband. Don't be up here not out. claiming him. No, you I don't claim him. I don't like that because I be seeing behind the scenes. And no, you don't. That's, that's, you, do. you just come up here and just fit in with the lies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lauren Santos. Just All right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we got front page news next, and we'll take your calls on work husbands, work wives. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.